I always wanted to be a nurse. And when I graduated, this opportunity came up for me to be able to go into the cadet corps, and it was wonderful. The United States Cadet Nurse Corps was signed into law on July 1, 1943 by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The Corps was designed to ensure that there would be enough nurses to care for Americans at home and abroad during World War II. Successful applicants would receive a free 30-month nursing education and a small monthly stipend in exchange for a pledge to serve for the duration of the war. Over a thousand nursing schools participated and 124,000 students graduated as a result of this program. I uh, was born at Tobias, Nebraska and raised on a farm. Went to uh, parochial school for eight years and then to high school in Tobias. So initially then you went to some nurses training? Um, right. I went to Lincoln General uh, through nurses training and um, the government uh, furnished all of our books, uniforms, housing and even a stipend of, I think we started with $15, $15 a month, which was pretty big money to me back then. You had all your room and board? <laughs> right, right. How long, when did you start and when did you finish this nurse's training? 44, started and finished in 47. Okay. Okay, um, at that stage, um, you were qualified to, to be a nurse, and uh, you, you had an obligation to serve in the military for a while? No, I didn't have an obligation because the war ended in 46, and uh, so I did not have an obligation to serve. Okay. And, uh, but during the, our training, the nurses were gone, and the students carried the hospitals. I mean, they needed us. Oh. So that, um, you know, the the government wasn't putting their money out in vain. They were <laughs> taking care of the home people. So you were actually uh, serving as a nurse during your training? Mm hmm Well, you know, that's part of your training is to learn to be a nurse. So therefore, you know, as you're learning to be a nurse, you're taking care of the people. And we didn't have very many RNs around. Yeah. In fact, I don't know that we had any working the floors. I, we had supervisors, but it was all uh, students okay. working the floors. There were the senior nurses already, you know, so that they were, you know, very well equipped to do all of these things, and we little probies learned. <laughs> uh, was there a consideration if the war continued that you would have to serve at a military hospital? You know, I, d I don't remember ever being told that. Okay. I just, um, I would imagine the need th would that if they had had the need that we would have had to have gone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, just a question outside of the nursing. Um, do you have any specific recollections about uh, Pearl Harbor Day? Um, what you were doing or what you remember from that day? See, I'd have been in high school then, and uh, I would imagine I was in school, and it, um, I don't think it affected us kids, like, you know, it was something that happened. And, uh, and we were very sad, you know, to see the boys go off to war, but they were all quite a bit older than we were. And um, how about the end of the war? I remember that well. <laughs> I was <laughs> working at the hospital, and the honking and the tooting and the I mean, there was just so much excitement on the outside. You could just hear that people were so excited. And it was wonderful. 
Did you participate in it at all? In the excitement? Yeah. Did you? I don't think so. <laughs> I was still kind of a kid then, too. So. Yeah. so, And they had very strict regulations for us in nurses training. But we didn't. Uh, no socializing. Didn't get away from there very often. There, I wouldn't say no socializing, but it was, um, you had to be in by 8 o'clock every night and in uh, 9 o'clock on the weekends, and so you didn't um, have a lot of time to fool around. Uh, the, the Cadet Corps, uh, what kind of commitment did you make when you joined that? I mean, uh, uh, were you required to, uh, I, they determined where you would be stationed or where, what hospital you'd be in, or did you have flexibility to? Nothing. To... We were just getting an education. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we went to, um, we had uh, professors from the University of Nebraska came out to the nursing home, and we also rode the bus and went to classes on the campus. Okay. It's, maybe just clarify for me how cadet corps nurses training is is different than in than a, a normal nurses training is there a difference or no okay there wouldn't be a difference at all okay in i would say the only difference is that we all felt that we got a really good education because we had to work very hard and uh, you know after uh they relaxed a lot after that with students and so uh Did you have any patients that uh, were in there that had been serving, that had received wounds in the war or something, but they were in the hospital there? No. Okay. After you completed the training then in 47, did you make a career out of nursing? I went to Beatrice and worked for a year. Then I got married and I worked for another six months. And then I stayed home for 19 years while we had our family of six children. And we were on a farm then. And then I went back a day a week first and then a little bit more after. But I stayed home till my last child was in school. Okay, and then you went back to it. Mm hmm Need to get some refresher training at that point? Um, well, my refresher training was that they said I would have somebody to work with me for three days. I'm <laughs> three weeks because I was working day a week. And then I would have, uh, those would be refresher. And I worked one week, and the second week I went back, I was on my own. Wow. And then I, you either uh, swam or you sank, and I was able to swim, okay. <laughs> thankfully. How much longer did you do that then? Were you in nursing? Are you still in nursing? No, I retired when I was 72. I worked out here at Emanuel in the psych ward for 15 years. And uh, so I, I had a good career. Because, and I worked in Beatrice, too, at, at the hospitals in a nursing home. And, and so I, I just felt like God was looking out for me all the way because when I needed to support myself, why well, I, I had an education so I could do it. And I used to feel bad for the ladies who were cooking and doing things like that at the school and didn't get very much money. And here I was staying home and could have gone out and gotten a better salary. But um, that yeah. didn't happen that way. It's certainly an important profession and something that's always going to be needed. You that's know right. that. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh, anything else that you'd like to talk about related to being in the cadet corps? Or? The friends. It's so nice to have these people as friends. You still see some that you went mm -hmm. through training with? Mm -hmm. it was, there's uh, one of my classmates here in Omaha, and we see each other or call on the phone and um, write to some of them yet. And, you know, it's... I think that's the big thing is uh, you really become like sisters in there because we needed each other. Yeah. Uh, any 
specific uh, incidents or stories that you recall that uh, you'd like to record at this point? I always, um, taking very good care of them was important to me because I felt like one day I was going to be, you know, like when you're taking care of the elderly, like I would be on that position or in that position and so I was just hoping that taking care of them was, good care of them was <laughs> a good thing to do. Okay, well, I appreciate you coming in and uh, interesting stories. It did, did a lot of good uh, as a nurse. Oh, I, I had a good life in nursing, so yeah. I, I feel good about that. The U.S. Cadet Nurse Corps had its own uniforms, pledge, newsletter, and advertising program complete with posters, films, radio, and magazine ads supported by robust publicity effort. At the height of the five-year program, student nurses were providing 80% of the care in more than 1,000 civilian hospitals. The U.S. Cadet Nurse Corps is credited with maintaining expected levels of nursing care through the war years and offering valuable careers to thousands who might not otherwise have been able to afford them.